technical roadmap or an outline that lays out to change the language of your video, make sure the clip is selected and click on the audio tab in the top right corner. Then scroll down to Video Translator and click on the box to activate it. You have to select which language the video audio is originally in. Then select the language you wish for it to be translated to. A message will pop up in the screen that gives a brief warning on the limitations of this translation tool. Check the box and click Allow to start the translation process. You will see the progress tracker next to the box. The longer your video is, the longer this process will take. Once it is finished, when you play the video, the audio will be translated into the language you selected. It even changes the voices of different people speaking. To add captions, click on the text box in the top left corner, then click Auto Captions. You can select the language you wish the captions to be in. Mine is already selected. You can also select a secondary language and captions if wanted by checking the box next to bilingual captions. Once that's done, click the blue Generate button at the bottom. The longer the video is, the longer this process will take. All the captions will be added above the video and audio clips in the timeline. With all the clips selected, I can make changes in the right-hand side menu to all of them at once. To correct any errors, select the specific caption, and you can edit it in the right-hand side menu as well. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords. Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects, and please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time, Comet Creators. End transmission.